Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we have a massive Dungeons update as well as a ton of amazing quality of life stuff. I'm going to do my best to kind of test around and look around at a lot of the stuff that was added from a new quest line, new mini boss mechanic, as well as a bunch of new dungeon items. A crazy, crazy change to boss collection that's great for the game and overall just exploring the brand new update. So if you guys are excited for all that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe channel if you guys are new around here. And without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Super quickly, if you do find yourself checking out the Hypixel store, don't forget to use my career code code ZACK, that's Z-A-C-H, to save yourself an extra 5% on checkout. It's a great way to support myself and the channel and it means the world to me when you guys do it. So thank you so much to everyone who does use my code. And without further ado, let's jump right into the brand new update. The admins have been on the move with us updates i must say we just got the so-called dungeon update that we've been waiting for um which is kind of crazy i can't believe how quickly they got this out we have a bunch of new weapons and items and equipment and a lot of really fun stuff to go over as well as a whole class rework to the berserker class berserker is now insane which i'm super excited to see because it was one of those classes that really didn't make too much sense it was basically just archer except for you were called a berserker so they also added bulk salvaging, which is amazing. You can like just add all the items from your inventory in here and salvage them all at once. Great change here as well. Um, yeah, tons of little things to try and take a look at today. We're gonna try and jump into it as much as possible. First things first, there's actually a bunch of new items. Uh, and the items are mainly stemming out of some floor four things. If we go ahead and take a look, I have five spear bones on me that I was saving for a bone meringue. Um, however, now there's the Bone Reaver, which is the first tier to like this new Berserker weapon that's also really insane. It's a dungeon longsword. The swing range on this thing's insane, which is also a new like stat, by the way, swing range. Uh, that, as you can see at the bottom there, I currently have three swing range. And uh, that's something you can extend and um, kind of increase as a cap of 15. But apparently there's some magical items. Um, some magic may let you change it. So that's kind of interesting. If we go ahead and look though, the bone reaver here requires 20 enchanted bone blocks, five spirit bones, and a spirit sword. In all transparency, I didn't think this update was going to come here as soon as it did. I have a skeleton minion down. I'll have to put more down. I thought I had a little bit more time to try and get 20 enchanted bone blocks. Turns out I don't anymore. Um, they also add a bone necklace, which is one of the equipment pieces. Requires two spirit bones, a spirit wing, and a stack and a half of soul string. This is one of the equipment pieces. They add a bunch of other equipment pieces scattered throughout like all the different floors, which is super exciting. We go and look in floor one. There's now the balloon snake, which gives you jump boost two while equipped. Pretty cool equipment piece. In floor two, we have the adaptive belt you can get. In floor three, we have nothing new, I believe. Floor four, um, a bunch of crafts involving around previously existing items. Floor five now brings us the Shadow Assassin Cloak, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. That's pretty exciting. And then floor six now brings us the Soul Weaver Gloves. As you can see, we're kind of like building a uh, whole equipment set here. A Fell Skull. What does this do? Ray Arm Jesus. I have no idea what a Fell Skull does. I don't remember seeing that on uh, Alpha in RNG Meter, at least. So that's pretty exciting. We'll have to look in to see what that is. They also added Thorn Fragments, which is like uh, now a Spirit Bear can basically spawn in Blood Rooms. And um, once you kill it, it has a chance of dropping the Fragment for it. It's kind of similar to like Scarf Fragments or um, Bonzo Fragments, that type of deal. So yeah, really exciting stuff. Uh, it's also added to the sack already, which is nice to see they're on the ball of. And then all these items have also been added to the museum, which is super exciting. And that new Bone Reaver, like sword also has like a bunch of upgrades so we have a ton of stuff to try and jump into and honestly probably one of the most exciting changes is that boss collections have now been changed a little for um dungeons okay as you can see it says i have some rewards to claim because they've made it now that master mode now counts as two floor completions instead of the basic dungeons counting as one this is an amazing change. Um, I, I've heard it tossed around ever since they did this for Kudra, where like different floors gave different amounts for the boss collection. So this is amazing. Uh, I should have some stuff to claim. So let's go ahead and do that. I have my adaptive chest plate here to claim. Uh, click to view rewards. That means I have these claimed, right? I'm not missing these. Just want to make sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and get our uh, adaptive chest plate as well as there's some 25 XP there, and I'm not too far away from that. Thorn, um, I didn't really do too much M4, so yeah, we aren't we aren't too close to the spirit boots, unfortunately. Floor five, we got shot up quite a bit. Um, we're now at the livid tier six, so we have a shadow assassin chest plate and 25 skyblock XP to claim. Don't mind if I do. Floor six, we also have a reward to claim our free recom, which is super nice. Let's go ahead and claim that and 25 skyblock XP. So that was 75 skyblock XP 
We just got there. Don't mind if I do at all. That's beautiful to see. And these chest plates, I honestly don't know what to do with. Um, I'll, I'll have to figure that part out. Okay, we don't have patch notes yet, but Dio's telling me that there's a uh, new quest line in the deep caverns that I apparently need to explore. I don't know how to start it. Wait, let me, let me ask. Where do I start the quest? Apparently, there's a new quest in the deep caverns. I don't know if I'm being completely trolled. Um... There's a good chance I am. I think we all know that with Dio, but you never know. Uh, walk in the redstone area. Okay, okay, let me, let me, I'll go to the entrance of the redstone area. Okay, walk in the redstone area, you'll see. Is this a new lobby? It should be, okay. I'm in the redstone area. I'm walking around. We're, we're making our way downtown. Um, man, I, I don't see anything. I do not. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll get my bestiary kills up, right? Um... Oh, hello. Redstone Miner is such an amazing resource that you can be used for so many different purposes. For example, by leveling up your redstone collection, you can unlock more slots in your accessory bag. Reach redstone collection 2 to unlock the small accessory bag, then come talk to me again. Okay, well, that has been done. Wait, you already have redstone collection 2? I do indeed. In that case, would you like to help me out with something? In return, I can give you some more slots for your accessory bag. I would love to help. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Of course, you know, I'm a nice guy. If you can bring me 120 redstone, I'll reward you with an extra slot for your accessory bag. I mean, yes, please. Hello? Three accessory bag slots? So let's actually confirm that this thing's actually going to help. I currently have one available slot in here. Yes, I'll give you the materials. Here you go. Come back with the right amount this time. I did. What? Uh, I, I'm getting scammed. I'm actually getting scammed. That's all that's happening here. I'm literally getting scammed. Give materials. Amazing. Thanks for rest. I give it twice. Okay. Um, just as promised, here's an extra accessory bag slot. Okay. Thank you. You can view your accessory bag within the skyblock menu. This is very true. Um, oh, if you bring me 256 redstone, I'll bring you another slot in your accessory bag. What? Okay. Can you just take it from my sacks? No. Okay. Well, uh, let me go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four stacks. I have a personal compactor on. That's great. Let me uh, let me disable that real quick. Also, we did get an extra slot. Okay, this is this is kind of nice. So far, so far, I'm liking what's going on here. Okay, let me uh, take out another four stacks. One, two, three, four. Hi, right, here you are. Give materials. Thank you very much. Of course, here the help. Now, as promised, take another slot. Okay, thank you. We're not done yet though. This time, I need 512 redstone. That's eight stacks. It's quite a lot, but I know you can do it. You can. Get an accessory bag slot from helping the redstone miner. Give 512 redstone to the redstone miner. I got you, bro. I'm here to help. What can I say? Take all my redstone if you're going to give me slots. Usually, I'm paying 12 mil for two of them. So, uh, this is this is honestly a steal. I'll take it. Please take another accessory bag slot. You deserve it. I really do deserve it. You know, and the fact that he knows means a lot. If you have any energy left, I have just one more task for you. Finally, I need 1,024. 16 stacks, if you didn't know. Okay, sure. You know what? Take Take all the redstone I have, man. Take it all. Give materials. Great work. Here's your last accessory bag slot. You've earned it. Jeez, what was that? Like four extra slots we just got? That's actually amazing. With this much redstone, there's no end to what I can do. The sky's the limit. I hope you've come to appreciate redstone as much as I do. I appreciate redstone too if you just give me uh, give me all that stuff like that. M5 Skyblock XP. Beautiful. That's all I can do for you. If you still want more accessory bag slots, talk to Jacobus in the village or simply level up your redstone collection. Well, that was amazing. Look at that. Look at all the extra slots I just got. Oh my goodness, man, I will take that. Thank you so much. Uh, shout out the Redstone Miner. Shout out Dio for letting me know. That is actually massive. You'll love to see it. There's now also an indicator in the um, Spider's Den when a Broodmother is going to spawn. They've also added particles to it spawning. As you can see on my scoreboard, it says Awakening. Before it said Broodmother soon, so it actually just changed to Awakening. I don't know what that entails. Uh, this guy better watch himself right here. Um... Yeah, uh, this should be. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. So I might sit through and see, like, how long is the awakening process? You know, like, was that was that mean precisely, and uh, stuff like that. They also made it so you can hold right click on your Terminator and it scales with your attack speed, which is amazing. By the way, that is like so good. Uh, so really cool, really cool stuff there. Um, yeah, how long is the awakening process? And uh, I'm curious if they've changed anything to like the mini boss or what we can really expect from it. Okay, it just changed to saying imminent. Um, Let's see what that means. They said they also had particles to it. Like, what does imminent mean? Imminent should mean soon, right? Like, wh where is this thing? Where, 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 where the broom mother at? Imminent, you know, I, I'm, I'm now confused. Like, I feel like it should have, well, how long does imminent last? Um, 
Is this like a whole another few minute phase or like what? What uh, what's going on? Here? Maybe it's just not working because the update just rolled. I don't know yet. I kind of want to see it through. Um, I think it's cool they add an indicator though, especially because of how many kills you need of this thing for beast jury. Um, yeah, where bro, mother, where are you at, bro? Okay, there we go. I actually just heard it, and okay, it's hits now. It's hit based. That is like, or not hit based, but it definitely doesn't take like full damage, which is kind of cool. Now it says slain, which is super nice. Okay, I honestly big fan of that change. Um. Yeah, that's really cool that there's like an indicator now because sometimes I just come to the spire stand to see And so basically when it says soon once it says awakening, it's like a few minute process until it spawns It was probably saying awakening for like a minute Maybe two minutes max and then uh, and that's bond and then now it's slain and it'll probably restart that whole cycle And I think that's really nice. Um, yeah, basically it's only when you're in that area and does warp nest still get you there? It does. Okay, but they also add a warp mound. They changed the top of this to the spider mound. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I like that change. And um, that, that should be really helpful for trying to grind out that beast, Jerry. Okay, this is massive. Apparently, they have removed the cooldown when resetting your heart of the mountain. That is amazing. There's so many times where, like, I don't want to reset my tree and I don't want to do a grind because, like, I'm waiting for something. Like... Honestly, I wanted to powder mine a little bit between fiestas, but I didn't have enough time to reset my tree and do all that. So if that is a thing, that's amazing. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you get a chance to test that. I'm not mining right now, so no real need to test it. And uh, I have my tree set up how I want it. It takes a while to unlock everything. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. It says that on the uh, patch notes. So that would be amazing if that's true. Also, that free recom I got, I think it's time I finally use it. And I'm not going to overthink it. I've been wanting to put one on my Daedalus Axe for the longest time now since I have like Chimera 2 on it. This thing's starting to get pretty, pretty hefty, pretty expensive. So I think it's time I finally <laughs> recom it. And uh, let's go ahead and do that before I change my mind and put it on like a tally or... I, I always forget what I want to recom. I just know there's so many things that I want to. So trying to keep track of what should be next has been like, honestly, a bit of a struggle. But um, may as well just do one item that I knew I wanted to for a while. And uh, now we have a recom, Daedalus Axe. But it's time to go and actually hunt down some Thorn Fragments. They also added a ton of new rooms to dungeons. Uh, this is one of the new rooms for sure. I, ha I haven't seen this one before. So that's, that's, uh, that's what I'm going off of, of knowing that it's a new one. I don't know any of the secrets for this yet. I'll be learning it, but I'm basically just going to rush to blood. Hopefully, we can hunt down one of these uh, spirit bears and get a thorn fragment today because I think that would be really cool. We can look at, like, all the things you can do with it. I'm not really even set up for dungeons at the moment. I was going to play some later today, actually, to record a video, and now I'll be doing that to hunt down the new equipment pieces, which I'm really excited for. So going to try and get my hands on as many of those as soon as possible. So you guys can expect that in tomorrow's video. But the update just dropped, so I thought we'd kind of explore our way through it and learn a little bit about it together today because I think the updates are important in the, the sense of the series and honestly can help lead us to what to grind for. So... Yeah, I thought we'd do a little bit of a more of an update video, but I really want to hunt down a um, spirit bear, kind of take a look at that, and then we'll actually go into the boss fight and see if we can drop an ancient rose because I know there's an upgrade to the um, the what's it called? the flower of truth, which is pretty exciting too. So we'll be taking a look at that. But yeah, they had a bunch of new dungeon rooms, which is always exciting to see. Um, I'm still learning the secrets of the existing rooms, so that'll be fun, and it will take me forever to learn as well. But one of those things that you just love to see. I love to see updates. So any new update, I'm, I'm here for. Looks like we got livid on our first run, but I'm still going to go through and see if we can get a um, flower or an ancient rose at a minimum this run. Oh, man, I didn't think I actually got one that run, but we, we actually did. Can I see the recipes while in a dungeon? Okay, yeah, I can. We have the flower of truth, uh, a fell rose now, which is three ancient roses as well as four, eight, twelve, sixteen fell pearls. Uh, to create a fell rose and i'm assuming you need this to uh upgrade this to the bouquet of lies so um i need to get three ancient roses and i'm also hunting for a thorn fragment so i, I guess we'll just keep kind of chugging along with those lines but um also why am i not on ma why am i not a mage what am I i'm actually trolling on archer in a regular floor six <laughs> what am i doing i just realized what a waste of arrows right um okay next run i'll i'll change i'll change over because there's no reason why i should even slightly be on um archer in a regular floor six run that's actually funny i want to try berserker but i don't really have like a good weapon for it so we'll have to try that another day but right now we are on the thorn fragment hunt and looks like it's going to be scarf this run a little bit sad um yeah there we go scarf sorry buddy all right well let's try and get some more ancient ro roses at least let's see spear bear 
Oh, like instead? Oh, livid. I'm starting to think Dio lied to me and I can't even get him from this floor. Well, I got a golem bestiary here. I mean, in M6, I don't really ever kill the golems because I'm on healer, but uh, I'll take it. Hopefully we got uh, another ancient rose. I got one last run, so I'm at two out of the three I need. And we'll see how many of that item we actually need too. But um, yeah, I mean, we'll just take care of the terracottas. Beautiful. Let me go ahead and actually check my dungeon sack real quick. Man, we didn't get an Ancient Rose that run. Okay, well, I guess that means uh, we're going right into another. And Bonzo. Okay, well, we've we've gotten everyone now except for uh, except for a Spirit Bear, which is a little unfortunate. But um, hopefully we get an Ancient Rose at the minimum. I didn't get an Ancient Rose. And uh, let's see if we get our Spirit Bear this time. <laughs> uh, there he is. Bring that guy out. You know, I want to I see what he does. That, that these livids and all this I, I i'm assuming i need a ton of thorn fragments too so uh the sooner the better please oh my goodness spirit bear hey buddy please tell me i got the fragment from that thing that was my first time seeing him ever literally ever please 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 let it be yes we got a thorn fragment beautiful i've done a couple runs since and still haven't gotten my third ancient rose i'm starting to think i just got lucky like on my first two um i don't know the drop rates of them but i, I was hoping i'd have a third by now who knows maybe everything can come together on this one beautiful run we get our first thorn fragment as well as our third ancient rose that would be perfect well i got another golem bestiary tier so please let it mean it did oh my goodness we got our third ancient rose i wanted for uh today just basically to kind of check out the recipes see what that thing does like the fell roses so Really exciting stuff. I've also just been doing these runs because may as well, uh, if I'm coming this far, I may as well kill the giants and get my boss collection. That's kind of my thought process behind it. And uh, literally only takes a couple extra seconds. I'm in no rush. So uh, yeah, there we go. You basically do that. You wait for him to rise up and then another boss collection completed. We also get to test out one of the new features, the salvage all. So I can add all the rare items I got as well as add all the epic items. Slow oh, it's telling me to slow down. Okay, I'm not sure if I like that. Like why didn't it add all oh this is the maximum amount you can salvage at a time okay cool um but yeah you can basically just like bulk salvage um also just taking a look through here making sure i don't need any of those for museum what look at that okay that's that's pretty cool wait what okay um <laughs> that was a little buggy uh it's, it's it's fine it's fine um yeah just making sure i don't need any of these i'm actually not sure about the zombie commander boots so i'll just keep those just in case but yeah, there we go. That is an amazing feature because it takes so long to salvage sometimes when you're rushing in between runs. So that is a great change as is. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the thorn leaves. Let's go ahead and take out some fell pearls. The thorn fragments. So you can basically upgrade things like you could with other fragments. It's weird that they didn't have this to begin with. But yeah, you can basically upgrade the spirit scepter. It upgrades the stats. Spirit boots you can go ahead and upgrade. Spirit short bow. They changed this to a short bow not too long ago. Uh, boomerang you can upgrade spirit mask so uh yeah th those are all just great changes we need a bunch of thorn fragments to go ahead and max those out i just wanted to see if there was anything else special in there then we can go ahead and actually make a fell rose which with some ancient roses and a stack of fell pearls or 16 of them you can make a fell rose here and let's go ahead and right click and see what we can do with this thing so this is used for the fell thorn reaper you need a fell skull which is that rng drop from floor six we we're looking at the bone reaver which we we're looking at with spirit bones enchant bone blocks and the spirit sword and then you can also uh, create the, the bouquet of lies. Okay, that's a decent amount of roses. I'm not going to lie. 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 times 3, that's 36 roses I believe you need for all this. And um, yeah, so that, that definitely adds up. And if you need 36 of those, 36 times 16, you need 576 fell pearls. Wow, I never thought I'd have too many fell, not have enough, not have enough fell pearls. That's kind of crazy. So yeah, we will be needing a lot of these. Um, that's cool to see, though. I'll see if I can start killing some golems when I do uh, M6s for that museum item. But yeah, really cool stuff. Awesome changes. And uh, tomorrow we're going to start hunting down the brand new equipment pieces. So looking forward to that. Should be a lot of fun going through some of the older floors. We're going to start off at like floor one and work our way up and see how many we can get in the session. So should be a good time. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. That's going to be it for today's episode though. Always exciting on update day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys like most about today's update. And without further ado, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.